space where no one hears you scream. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeremy, and welcome to Metroid 2 Return of Samus on Channel 84 Winnipeg. How long has it been, guys? Six months, I believe. Anyway, I said I'd be back, and here we are. Before we start the game, a little backstory. This game takes place shortly after the events of the first game, even though the games are five years apart. This one being released in 1991. Anyway, after Samus defeated the Space Pirates and destroyed the Metroids in their base, the Galactic Federation decided that the Metroids were too dangerous to be left alive. So, they sent squads of extermination soldiers to the homeworld SR-388, but nobody ever returned, leaving the Federation with no choice but to send Samus in alone. So we're gonna make like Metallica and kill them all! So here we are on the planet's surface. We have 99 HP this time, 30 missiles, and we don't have to worry about a morph ball because we've got that as well. In the lower right corner, we have 39 Metroids to destroy. So, no easy task, and it's going to be a long one as well. Gotcha! As you can see, it's a cavernous dungeon much like the Space Pirates planet. But it's no big deal. We can do the job. So, a little shortcut here, for the benefit of those who didn't know, but then again, this is a rather old game, so I'm sure a lot of you did know that. That wasn't good. But then again, it's not like I'm really going to be hurting for health. I'll take the odd hit here and there, but it's no big deal. Now, you can go right if you want, but at present, we can't actually make our way to the right. So we have to go left. At the same time, it'll give me a chance to refill my energy. Oh, and by the way, check it out. Up here, there's another shortcut. Not like I'm going for speedrun strats or anything, but I do remember this from when I was a kid, so yeah. Go me for having a sharp memory. No, I don't want missiles, I want life. There we go. Now that's the way to do it. Now, how powerful are these missiles? Well, believe it or not, any enemy that gets hit with a missile will actually die. At least if I'm not deluding myself. Pull out your missiles, because right here, our first Metroid. Yeah, there it is. And it's not floating. That's because... It's an evolution of the Metroid. This is the Alpha. Ah, missed. Back off, pal. What the hell was that? Normally, I never take hits against that sucker. But it's not of any consequence. We have a missile recharge and an energy recharge. And an earthquake. That's right. This place is prone to earthquakes. Whenever you get one, it means a new area is opening up. It might induce a panic attack, but at the same time, it's not a big deal. Alright, now that we've got that taken care of, let's go back to where we dropped down and head to the right. Give me a little squirt. There we go. Okay, now for the long climb up. Don't touch me because I know you hurt. Now I can do it. Ah oh yes, that's another strat you can keep in mind. If you take a hit and bounce backwards, when you're in the height of that little bounce back, you can jump for a little extra height. It's great for speedrunners, but at the same time, if you just want to save yourself from grief, you can do that too. Alright, there we go. This is the save point. Stand on it, and you push start, and it saves. Me? I'm not going to save yet, because we actually... Well, where I need to go, it's not too, too far away. Now, if I went here first, all this area would be flooded with lava. But since I beat that Metroid, the path is clear. And right down here, we're gonna meet... Oh, that ugly sucker. If you touch it, it will do a lot of damage. Those things on its head? Yeah, they hurt. At 99 health, you touch it, you drop down to 86. 13 points of damage. And at this point in the game, that's a lot. And they actually take a lot of shots to bring down, too. But anyway... Here we are at the next lava section. So we'll just jump from platform to platform, being careful not to fall in. Yep. Still got it. And now we're in our next area. With a bunch of new enemies. Well, one new enemy, because those guys that float from side to side, they're basically Wii skins. You see one, you see them all, essentially. Nice. Nothing to it. 
In fact, speaking of enemies, that's actually one of the biggest gripes I've got about the game. The lack of enemy design. They either scroll around platforms like that, float from side to side, jump, or what have you. I mean, yeah, they look different, but a lot of times you'd be hard-pressed to find some really unique enemies. But that's just me. All I know is, it's fun gameplay, and you shouldn't really look a gift horse in the mouth. Alright. We're getting close to the ruins of an ancient civilization. Ah, you little bastard. Ugh. Are you just about done? Well, I don't care, because I want you out of my hair. Okay, well, here's a unique enemy. A little tough to bring down. And if you're hurting for missiles, they're the ones you gotta go after. I'll skip this safe one as well, because... Like I said before... Yeah, doing just fine. I know where to go. I'm not hurting for any real supplies. Switch my missiles, because... We got a big item coming up. And like the first game... Five missiles. There we go. Our first item of the game is the bomb. And you may have noticed that there was a missile pod below. Now that we have the bomb, we can blow it open and expand our missile count. One missile pod gives you 10 extra. See? Wasn't mine, was I? Anyway, now that we've got that in tow, let's explore the rest of this place. There are many items to be picked up, and at the same time, I want to get this done as fast as possible. So far we've destroyed one Metroid out of 39, and if we pause the screen, you can actually take a look at how many enemies you have in said area. In the bottom right corner, four. So we've got four Metroids to destroy. Ah, and there's another unique enemy. That thing is called Wallfire. Oh, never mind. I actually didn't need the bomb to get through, through there. And check it out. Energy tank. It basically gives you 100 extra hit points. I believe there are six in the game, and you can only have five at a time. Not sure what sense that makes, but it's not the end of the world. Alright, so through here, we're getting our next big item. Just like a bomb room, there's a red door. Alright. But this time, no missile below. Just the good old ice beam. It's a good beam, but I do have one real big gripe about it. Enemies that did die in one shot, now just free solid first. It's kind of pointless to pick at it, but at the same time, there are worse things. Gotta jump. Alright, keep on going, keep on going. Actually, no, I think I'll skip that for now. In that room, there's actually a bunch of missiles, but there is one I can't really get, so I'll wait till I get the means to secure that item. Well, get the item to secure those missiles, all of them, and then we'll be good. And there's another Metroid shell. So there must be one in the area. We'll get to it, but first, we need to pick up our next key item. Through this floor. Alright, so we go down here, and check it out. The spider ball. This baby allows us to climb up walls. We'll go back up here, and I'll demonstrate. It's really cool potentially game-breaking. But there's one big drawback. Look how slow I'm going! But it's not that bad. In fact, it's actually quite good. Alright. Now that we've got that, let's go take out some Metroids. So we'll go up here. Engage the Spider Ball. And I'm also going to show you a neat little battle strategy when taking on Metroids. Get your missiles out. If you see an Alpha, take a pot shot first. That free after strike will actually register damage. Done like dinner. Okay, now let's go get some items. At the same time, we're also going to hunt down the other three Metroids in this area. And once we do that, that'll be two areas down. Okay. So in here... Get this first. Double back real quick, take you out, and use the spider ball on the ceiling. 
Tom Petty really did have it right. The waiting is the hardest part. See, without the spider ball, you can't actually get that. Well, let's get out of here before it grows back. Yep. Okay, so we're done in this room. So now we can keep on going. I do not like these things. I mean, they look cool, but they're mighty annoying. That extra jump boost, it's going to be a bit of a time saver, but at the same time, is it really worth the damage? Probably not, but, you know, you can't really create a monster and then cry about a notch over a few buildings. Alright, so once we get all the missiles in here, that'll be all the items in this area. Let's pick up here. Grab this. Get in. There we go. And that should give us a grand total of 80 or 90. Oh, whatever it is. We're done. All that's left to do is kill the Metroids. At this point, we only have one type of Metroid to encounter. The Alphas. Ah! Little jerk. You know what? I'm just gonna leave you be. Not worth wasting my time. Stop these idiots dead in their tracks. Okay. Now back in this room, we're going all the way to the bottom. It's in here where we'll find the other three Metroids. Of course, watch out for the other enemies. And we got more of these things. The enemies in this game, I actually don't remember half their names. There we go. Hey, don't touch me, pal. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, just need the spider ball to get up there. And then blast him through the sand. It does get much easier, but at this point in the game, having only the ice beam... It's incredibly tedious. There's one shell. We saw another one back there. So we're getting close. Everybody out of my way. I'm gonna blast you all. Switch your missiles, because it's fight time. Once again, use the preemptive strike attack. Fine. There we go! Excellent. We're doing just fine. Now we'll double back and head to the left. Gotcha. Whatever, I'll let you live. Not like you really have any consequence. Alright, so in this similar looking room, we'll head to the right. And the battle will begin almost immediately. Gotcha. I can't believe how easy it is for them to fall for that little trick. It's almost sad, really. But anyway, we've got one more Metroid in this area, and then we'll be ready for the next area. Right, easy does it. Yeah, you don't want to fall into those vines because it's like the equivalent of falling into lava. It doesn't hurt as much, but it's no less annoying. Okay. Alright. This is on. And there's the last one. Ah. Caught one I should have. But that's game. All four metros in this area are done. And soon we'll have our next earthquake. There we go. Earthquake. I'd say it's about a 4.5. Ah, who am I kidding? With that kind of shaking, much greater than a 4.5. But then again, I'm no seismologist. Or... What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, let's just say geologist. Back into the sand yet again. 
here's something really cool. There's actually a secret up here. A hidden path. If you wanted to, or you desperately need it, there's a big energy ball you can use to revive. But since I'm not really hurting that bad, I'll skip it. Okay, there we go. If it seems my control is not exactly that fluid, I've got a bit of a hand cramp right now. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I'll make do. Okay, so we're done here, and when we leave, the lava will be gone, and we can make our way to the next area. Short, not that memorable, but still pretty fun. And as promised, it's all gone. So now we'll go back to the main hub and keep on exploring. That idiot actually touched me! Oh good, that thing did not touch me. I said it before and I'll say it again, these things actually hurt. A lot. And they take a lot of shots to bring down. Ah! See? There's those little bristle things on their heads. That's what does it. And these things that fall out of the ceiling, well, I'm not sure what they are, but they're not in the instruction manual. If you keep them alive, they'll just keep on respawning. Once it's dead, then yeah, they're gone for good. And just like that, we're in the next area. Hey! Okay, I gotta be a little more careful. One of these days, I'm gonna jump into the wrong enemy at the wrong time, and that's gonna be the end of me. And in here, we'll see a new creature. These things, they don't attack, and they don't hurt. So it's all good. And we're going to encounter yet another Metro just ahead, so that'll be how we close out the video. Alright, where are you? Show your face! Gotcha! Still got it. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, we'll encounter a couple of new enemies. This thing. If you get close to it, it'll start flying in a square pattern. And you don't want to let it touch you because these things actually hurt. Okay, and I've got 90 missiles. And just in here, we'll find another save point, and I will shut down. So, thanks for watching, guys, and believe me, it's great to be back. When we return, we'll explore more of this area, get a few more items, and face off with yet another mutation of Metroids. Until then, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thank you very much for watching, thank you even more for your patience, and I'll see you next time. Later!